I don't know. Hola, I'm back and welcome back to yet another YouTube video with me, CJ of Shantae, whichever you prefer to call me by now. So for me, makeup is a very beautiful art form which you can use whether as a self-expression, a way to enhance features or a way to transform into magical creatures that is just mind-blowing to think of. So I have a few years back I did some makeup school and along with the practical came my theory site and I was a bit curious of how much do I remember of the theory site? But I just wonder, what if I dive into like a makeup quiz? What, what will come out? Will I be able to answer all the questions? Will I have some thoughts of my own on the questions? So that is what we're gonna do today. We are not gonna transform, but we are going to answer some questions. So let's us do this. Taking a makeup quiz of quizzes to see how much we can remember or I can remember or how much I can get right and what is my thoughts on it. Before I go into the um, quizzes, I have checked there is some makeup quizzes, but I haven't went into it to see the, the questions so it's all new to me as I do this on the YouTube video. But yes, um, if you guys might see me bouncing around on uploading days, I do apologize. It's just me trying to figure out one day of the week and what time is the um, best to upload. So it's just me trying to see what's, what's going on. So I truly do apologize if um, you guys might have noticed my uploading days might differ throughout weeks. I'm just trying to see what day during the week and time works the best for uploading videos. What type of brush is this? Okay, I say... Between either a kabuki or a powder brush, but let's go with a kabuki. Okay, first question correct. Okay, where should you test foundation to get the best color match for your skin? Normally, I would say between here, you swatch it here to see where you get the best match and always try to do it in natural sunlight uh, because lighting can very differ uh, what you see. So when you try to aim foundation matching, in my opinion, just try to go where the most natural um, light comes through so you can see the best, uh, which match suits you the best. That's just a tip I have learned and yeah. So I don't really see the option I, how I normally do it. I mean... A few moments later... I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't really go for the wrist. The wrist. If I butcher some of these names, I do apologize. Chicken... There's no way of a neck option. Well, let's... Oh. Let's read what it says. This question might just be the biggest source of disagreement in the makeup world. The reality is that your foundation has matched your whole face plus your neck to avoid that awkward moment when your face and your body look like they belong to two um, totally different people. The right shade will blend closely match to your neck area, cover the cheek area and blend well with the skin on the forehead. So it, it has the similar um, thing I just said of Try to always make sure it blends with your face and your neck area when you do foundation matching. Next question. Can't believe I have one wrong, but I mean, at least the, the, the answer was more or less what I had in mind as well. What does MAC actually stand for? Woo! I don't know. MAC? Makeup and Cosmetics? 
Guys, I'm so sorry. I never in my life learned what MAC stands for. Oh! <gasps> Created in 1984 by a professional makeup artist, photographer and beauty salon owner, MAC was originally a brand designed exclusively for professionals. I'm not too sure how accurate, how accurate correct um, this information is. It's just... So, um, also please just to make sure double check own um, research. But I'm just going to go on what here is. Uh, already designed exclusively for professionals, they go as to create a brand of cosmetic setup under hot studios lights and oh, photography well. Oh, this is very interesting. I never knew it's makeup art cosmetics. Now I know. Okay. Let's go. Color corrector is the same as concealer. I wouldn't say so. The reason why I say so is because color corrector, when we look at color corrections and things, we always tend to look at the color wheel to see what's on the opposite of the color you want to try to correct and then use the opposite color of that. So if you have a red, we will normally go for a green to color correct the redness and those. Um, so we tend to go for that. Where with concealers, it's not really for color correction. It's, it's interesting to see like, um, they also say like a concealer looks similar to your foundation in color and it also helps um, just to conceal blemishes but when I think of a color corrector I immediately start thinking of a color wheel. Next! Which of these would make the best bridal look? Let's, let's go with her. I still got it. If you use your own personal makeup brushes every day, how often do you need to wash them? I wash mine, I try to at least, I'm very bad at washing my brushes. If you guys have been watching my YouTube videos, you would know to the points I get and I'm like, I'm gonna do this makeup look because most of my brushes is covered with blue or greens or I'm really bad at it. I need to get better at it because you need to clean your brushes. There are things and bacteria that get back in there. Just, just keep them clean. I would say I strive to do it once a week when it's very dirty. Let's, let's see once a week. Once a week is correct. And then I also say about the bacteria from a skin build up. So I try, try to keep your brushes clean guys. Please try. Next. What is this looked called? A lizard eye. I, I would say cat eye. I, I once... Um, the very first makeup thing I did on myself was try to do a cat eye winged liner. It, mm, it was catastrophic to say the best. Where should you store your makeup kit? I never had that question before. Never. In the bathroom with all the rest of your beauty products, somewhere in a cool dry place, in a trunk of your car so you're always ready for a job. That is um, how I've been if I do makeup, um, makeup for form. I always have clean my makeup products and then I actually go place my makeup kit back in the car so I know the next morning when I go it is definitely in the car so um, on the floor so your dog can nose through all your products my 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 doggies fur babies is fine with my products but um Smeagol's my cat he, he loves makeup as well I think whenever I do makeup he comes along and discovers the products as well so he might have a sniff but um, either somewhere where it's cool and dry or in the bathroom. I don't know the bathroom. Let's say somewhere cool and dry. Somewhere cool and dry is correct. More expensive makeup equals better quality product. <sighs> I don't always agree with that. I have worked with very expensive things and I have worked with less expensive products. And sometimes I tend to go for... The lesser expensive product, even for just the quality alone over the more expensive product. And sometimes, um, let me not go there. <laughs> let me leave that opinion for myself. 
Um, never. Makeup companies are just trying to rip you off. Ooh, always. They. That's why the price is higher. The, it depends on the brand and the product. Only for moisturizers. Are they, I, um, let's go it depends on the brand and the product correct we talked about this in a previous post sometimes there's a whole lot of difference between a high-end product and a drugstore equivalent to the price like I said I it depends on the product I, I don't really think the price in my opinion have to do with the quality of the product let's do one more quiz one more quiz to really taste how this quiz is Test your knowledge. But first question: What are the basic eyeliner shapes that you look that other looks bold of? What? Sorry, <laughs> that sound just came out just very loud. I just am trying to make it make sense for me in English. What are the basic eyeliner shapes that other looks bold of from? And see, how do I know whether it's correct or not? Submit your answer. Oh, I need to submit it. Okay, it's correct. When using a product for an application, you should always work from the original container. N no, never work from the original container. If you uh, do makeup on other people in the industry or professional or just if you do someone else's makeup, please don't use the original containers, especially if you're going to work on other more um, clients or people. It, you can't, what is, sorry, I'm trying to search for the English word. Um, A few moments later. Decan it. Decan it as far as you can. Use disposables. Um, wands and things decan it because you never know the bacteria or germs and things that will come into your original container and then con like my English oh my English you guys you don't want germs and bacteria and things to mix in your original container that you are gonna use on other people because you might give them that bacteria and germs it's not hygienic it's not hygienic so whenever you always work professionally on clients or anywhere you go, decan it, use disposables as far as you can, never use the original um, containers. Um, let me see what they say, but I truly believe they're going to agree with me. Correct. Let's see the um, more English feedback than what I am. Working from the original container can lead to contamination. There we go for the word. Or damage to the product. Transferring the product to a separate Container ensures that decanning it ensures that it is used properly and safely What are the two ways to call eyelashes an eyelash curler? Yes, a spoon. I have actually seen people using spoons. That is It made me tempted to use a spoon. I, I must say it's very tempting to use a spoon It looks very fun, but I have seen that don't go with a knife near your eyes, please. I don't why why no an eyelash color and mascara. I'm gonna go with an eyelash color and mascara because a knife. Mm -mm. I have seen people use spoons though. I don't know how effective it is. I have never done it myself, so I'm gonna go with the things I have used. And it is an eyelash color and mascara. An eyelash color and a spoon! <laughs> Isn't eyelash color a common and effective way to curl lashes? Yes, yes. Another unconventional method is using a spoon by heating the spoon slightly. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let this one go because I have seen people doing it. I just didn't thought it was as common as an eyelash curler or mascara. So I'm, let's, I'll, I'll take that. Hello, Pago Wawa. Hello, come spring, spring, spring. Come, you can spring. Sorry, Pagos really just wanted to be on camera and say hi to you guys as well. Hello, hello. But um, what does it mean sitting your work? Taking a break? Using a camera to take a picture for your portfolio? Um, no, but I mean taking a camera and taking pictures for your portfolios is very good to update them. Keep them updated, your makeup portfolios. But it is used to um, powder. To, it's when you powder your face to set 
your makeup. Sorry, I can't read now with Pagos going hysterical. It's very excited to be on camera. He's very excited and yes, Mace also. My babies, my babies is a lot now. Oh my goodness. How many components are they getting a classic eyebrow? Depends on what you want with your eyebrow. I don't think there's a a set answer for that, but I'm gonna go five because I, I don't have ten steps components. Eight. I think it depends on brows to brows. That's that's where I'm gonna leave it. I think the website is freezing up. There was a time to it. I did not know. So this was it for the quizzes. I don't think I'm gonna dive into any more quizzes because I think this YouTube video might get in a little bit very long. But I hope you guys have learned um, something. Or not learned. I've heard my thoughts and opinions I have of things. I don't know whether you guys did the quiz with me. And if you did, how did you guys... Um, Go with the quizzes that you get correct, that you not get correct. Let me know below how did you go or how did you further, how did you... Oh, my English today doesn't want to English, you guys. How did you... How did you further? I will find the Google Translate for that. How, how did you do? during the quizzes. <laughs> Did you get good? Did you know all the answers or were there also some of the answers you guys had some thoughts like me on it of what the answer can possibly be. Makeup skills can vary from prosthetics, special effects, bridal, beauty, evening, editorial, avant-garde, fashion shows. I mean makeup skills is Fantasy makeup looks, it's such a broad field to be in and I have the most respect for every makeup artist or every artist that has specialized in a specific field of makeup or the makeup artists that just love to play around with the platform and the art form. It's so beautiful to watch and I have the deep most respect for each and every one of you guys. But this is it for the makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed it. Makeup look. You can see I'm so used to doing makeup looks. So this is it for the YouTube um, video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit the thumbs up button. Ring the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at cj underscore mua. And I'll see you all on the next either quizzily or makeuply or spooky adventure. So spook out spookies. Bye. I, I can't stand up. Pagos is in the way. Do you want to say bye bye? Say bye. Say bye. Bye. He says bye.